during the campaign, you know, we talked, and I told him that God chose him, that he was going to win. You know, there were a whole bunch of us running. I said, you're going to win because God is going to use you to help save our country. Dr. Ben Carson explains exactly why black Americans are supporting Trump more than they ever have before. And this is a frightening thing for the Democrat Party, which is why in this video, I'm going to break down the mindset behind this. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Devore Darkens Show, and you already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe so the algorithm can push this message out to more people just like you and me. Now, Dr. Ben Carson goes on the Tucker Carlson uh, show, and he is just dropping gym after gym. He's such a great person to actually just listen to. I don't even think it has anything to do with politics. He's just a genuine, nice person. I mean, I don't see how anybody could hate this guy. But anyways, he explains in this video why more black Americans are supporting Trump. And I think the Democrats truly need to pay attention. Now, before I go any further, let's play the video. So Trump was getting more support from African-Americans than any Republican since Nixon, I think. Maybe even more than Nixon. Does Kamala Harris change that? Uh, there's no question that there will be some people who will vote for her just because of the demographics that she represents yeah. physically. Uh, but I'm not sure it's going to be as great as they think. You know, when she was running for president, she didn't get a large amount of black support. And I know the media is going to do everything to make her seem like Martin Luther King in a different body. But <laughs> uh, I think people maybe are not going to be as easy to manipulate as that. And I think uh, Trump will continue to attract a lot of people in the black community because his policies recognize that a rising tide lifts all boats. And, you know, I don't think black people are particularly interested in having an advantage over everybody else. They just want a level playing field something that works for everybody. And I think that's one of the reasons that, that Trump is attracting so much attention. Now, he made a lot of good points right there, right? And he did mention something. You know, Vice President Harris, she's obviously going to get people to vote for her because she is a woman and she is a person of color. And in today's country, your skin color matters more than common sense. Yes, I said it. Your skin color matters more than common sense if you're on the Democrat side, right? So, of course, she's going to bring people out that didn't exist before when President Biden was running. So that is true. But it's also true that Donald Trump, President Trump, is getting more black people to support him than any other president in history. And he's a Republican. It is known that Democrats usually get 90% or more of the black vote. So for example, the latest poll that I seen, which was about a week ago, it said that almost 30% of black Americans are more likely to vote for Trump. Now that number is insane. That number is crazy. And here's the thing. And, and I heard this out of Chicago, I believe it is, or Detroit, where there was a pastor that came out and he said, hey, black people, we've been voting for Democrats for the past 60 years. Please show us the receipts where that has actually worked out for us as a community. Now, show us the receipts where you could prove that voting Republican would be bad for you. So you can't, you don't even have an actual example to prove that Republicans would not do right by the black community. What you have is just the belief that's been passed down to you that Republicans will not do right by the black community, All right? I mean, that's just the way that it's been. It's a programming of the mind. Okay, so let's continue. Ka Kamala Harris wouldn't be an obvious kind of leader of African-Americans and she's, you know, grew up in Canada, uh, had a Jamaican immigrant father, an Indian immigrant mother, doesn't 
I mean, that it's not obvious why she would be the choice of African Americans. I guess no, it's it's the perceptions. Yeah, and uh, of course, a lot of it will be driven by the media, who will try to make her seem like you know she's the second coming of Christ. But uh, I just don't think that that's going to work uh, in this particular case. Not to mention the fact that. In the past, at least, she has not been an inspirational individual. And, uh, you know, her speeches have certainly not been the kind that would have people fired up and saying, yes, we will, we will go to the end of the earth for this woman. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I hope she has some really good speechwriters. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's interesting if you can get Kamala Harris elected president um, you know, you've kind of proven that the democracy's fake, I think. Well, you know, uh, Nancy Pelosi once said, I can take this glass of water and I can put a D behind it and get it elected. Um, there's no question there is a machine and there is a mechanism for doing things. Okay, so we have to talk about this, right? She grew up in Canada. Now, before we move forward... Before we move forward, I want you guys to take just 10 minutes and Google what's going on in Canada today. You should probably put, what are the top five issues with living in Canada? That's what she grew up in. And if we think about it from a mindset view, we are a product of parenting. We believe the things that we believe. We see the things the way we see them because of the way that we grew up. Which is why it's hard finding clips of where she has a strong stance on something. Right? So this is a person running for president who has zero policies, zero stances. She has no successful track record as the vice president. Now, the media is going to make you believe she does. But if you were to look at the results from an objective point of view, she doesn't. And like Dr. Ben Carson said, they're trying to make her look like she's the second coming to Jesus Christ, which is crazy. But this is the country we live in. This is the democratic machine at work, right? In cahoots with the propaganda puppets and the fake news media, CNN, MSNBC, call it whatever you want, all working to try to get her elected because they literally hate President Trump. And that's the mindset right there, too, as well. You see, hate is such a, it, it, it's, it's a terrible emotion. It's a destructive emotion. And this is why the Democrat Party, why they are where they are today and why they're struggling and why it's been chaotic, because they hate President Trump so much that they forgot to serve the American people and they went after him for the last four years and they left a sleepy president in the White House. That's what's been happening. That's exactly what's been happening, even on the Republican side. There are people who support Nikki Haley and hate President Trump, and they would rather vote for Vice President Harris, which is insane. I tell people all the time, you want to know what you're going to get with her? Just take a glimpse at California. Just take a glimpse. You think Gavin Newsom is a problem? She's Gavin Newsom, but the woman version. Yeah, that's what we're going to get. And we've been seeing glimpses of that in the current administration. It is a fact that President Biden and the policies that he passed during this administration are not the same policies that he's always been running on before this presidency. People just have to wake up. And I love Dr. Ben Carson for going on this show and just calling it the way that it is. He's such a good spirit. Uh, God bless him, you know? Okay, so as I wrap up this video, this is what I want to say to you. It is very important to strive to be the best person you can be in this life. And I think the one way it starts doing, and I think the best way to go about doing that is step number one is get a great relationship with God. I don't care what your religion is. 
have some level of spiritual practice because I think we are more, I don't even think, I believe you and me, we are more than just skin and bones, right? And it will allow you to keep your mental health in check, right? It'll allow you to be able to wake up and have a positive outlook on life. And that's why when you hear Dr. Ben Carson, he just sounds so positive, a good person to listen to. And that is my mindset about this. What about yours? What do you think about what Dr. Ben Carson said about the black community showing more support for President Trump? What do you think about the fact that Vice President Harris isn't really a good representation for the black community? But she is going to get people to come out and vote because she is a woman and she is a person of color. It's really a problem because she grew up in Canada. She's from California and she's probably the most liberal Sprinkle in some progressive policies in there, but she's the most liberal person running for president since Bernie Sanders, which is why I want to read your answers and more in the comments section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.